some of us, if you don't deal with certain things, the things that got your father to fail, the things that got your mother to fail, the same things will get you to fail. Mm, mm. Seek first. You, you, you may have heard about the Plutus principle. So seek first as the principle of the first. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things will be added. In the beginning, God, when God came first, we had what? All the other things following after it. Let me tell you something. When you ignore the first, all the others suffer. And you see, all the institutions of society, the first among all is the institution of marriage. Authored by God himself. I pray that we understand this. I'm saying that any time you ignore the first or the foundation, all the others suffer. And I'm saying that of all the institutions in society, the marriage institution altered by God is the first. And all the other institutions are secondary to the marriage institution. Begin to do an examination of the most troublesome people this world has known. You will notice that most of them came out of broken homes. Most of them. Most of them. That's why I wrote in my book, Ten Deadly Men, that in the mathematics of marriage, one plus one is one, but one minus one is not zero, it's eleven. So it says, for this cause, a man, and this is a boy, tell somebody, marriage is not for boys. Tell somebody, marriage is not for diaper wearing boys. It says, for this cause, shall what? A man leave father and mother. That leave doesn't have to do with physical exit or physical separation. These days we have so many women but few wives. So many boys, few men. So one of the things you want to do after this session as a woman is you want to begin to prepare or avail yourself for God to prepare you to become a wife. One of the best scriptures you can look at is the Proverbs 31 woman. The virtuous woman. The Bible says a virtuous woman who can find? Tell somebody, life is too short for me to enjoy my marriage. Oh, look into their eyes and tell them, life is too short for me to endure my marriage. Life is too short. You must enter, stay, and enjoy. Say, enter, stay, enjoy. That's a threefold blessing of God for you, for your marriage. You must not only enter, you must stay and you must enjoy it. Of course, there will be times you will need to put up with. Because, you see, there is no perfect marriage. Interestingly, even the ultimate marriage, that is the marriage between Jesus Christ and his bride, the church, as we speak now, is not yet perfect. We, no, no, no. Our marriage with Christ now is not perfect. Otherwise, he would tell us he's coming for a church without a wrinkle, spot, and without blemish. In any case, in actual sense, our current relationship with Christ is a type of courtship. But you see, because God called the things that be not as though they were, that is why we are referred to as a bride of Christ. We are not yet his bride proper. We shall be his bride on that day when we are changed in a twinkling of an eye. And I pray you be one of such when the trumpet shall sound, when Jesus shall appear in the clouds with the archangel and the sounding of the trump of God. When the dead are resurrected and the living are following suit, may you not be left behind. Amen. I said, may you not, not be left behind. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so that even if any relationship will cost you, you are going in the rapture. Sacrifice that relationship. Nothing is worth keeping that threatens your, your participation in the rapture. Nothing is worth keeping. Whether a relationship, marriage, job, whatever. No, no body is worth keeping in your life, that threatens your participation in the rapture of the saints. Hallelujah. Because you know what? In all these things we seek, the ultimate is a marriage between Christ and the church. Amen and hallelujah. Somebody said, how come Jesus did not marry when he was on earth? If he had married, he would have been adultery. Because the church is his bride. The bride of Christ is the church. He's already, he came to 
to, to deliver his bride from bondage to the enemy. And if we had to focus on that, there was no time to go marry another woman. Are we together?